This is the printhead from the FL Sun T1 Pro, and in this video I'm going to do a teardown because I've been experiencing some issues. I think it has to do with the heater cartridge. I am getting a good thermistor temperature reading, um, but it does fail to heat up and then the firmware disconnects on a timeout. So we're going to tear it apart just to see how we're going to replace the heater cartridge or the thermistor or the entire thing. Usually this would be attached to these three points with these 12 screws, which we've removed from the arms of the Delta style printer. But usually you wouldn't do this. You would do this next portion instead if it was on your printer. So we have these two screws. We have one here on the side where you have a nice slot on the side for the tool to follow. You can remove that screw. And then on the other side, they don't have the same feature. They have a fan in the way, so you have to go in at a bit of an angle and remove the shroud that way. And I'm just gonna face that away from the camera so that I can knock it out. There we go. Now we have silicone sock that we can pull off and we have these six screws that can now be removed. That's all six. So now if you're normally doing this on your printer, that's the way you should do it. You would leave this portion, the, the carriage, you would leave that attached to the three arms and you pull this off and do any maintenance that you need to do. Now that we're here, we can gently pull this out of the shroud because you also have a fan that's still connected inside. And so you just push from the outside and that will pop out. Now a note about this fan is that you have these little tabs so you have no tabs on that side, but three of the sides have these little tabs. No tab. And then the shroud, hopefully I can show it here, has tabs on the bottom, the side, and the top, but a smooth side here, no tabs. So there's only one way that this fan gets pushed back into the shroud. And if you don't put it in the right orientation, you'll have a hard time sliding the entire print head back into the shroud. Now that we're here, if we wanted to replace the heater cartridge or the thermistor, let's take a look at how to do that. So starting with removing the electrical connection, the thermistor cables are kind of tucked in behind this PCB here. And I don't like to pull by the, the cables, so I just use a little screwdriver and pry that out. And then for the heater cartridge, using a little flathead to loosen those off. And those pop right out. And then we need to use a, actually I'm gonna remove this. So it makes it easier, so push down, pull the tube, and that's out. It just makes it easier to hold right now. Allen key again, remove these little guys. Now 
Now there is a set screw in the side here. Or two, I believe. No, just the one. And that's holding that tight. So if I tighten that down, I can't, can't pull that out. If I loosen it off, that slides right out. So since we have no electrical connections, there's our hot end again with the thermistor and heater cartridge. And then there's just some little grub screws that we can loosen off. And then that just slides out like that. If you had a spare one, you could replace it now, or we can just reinstall this one for now until the replacement arrives. And then the same thing for the thermistor here. We can loosen that off a little bit and that pops right out there. Again, if we had a replacement, we'd replace it here, chuck that one, or we can reinstall that right like that. That's the hot end. We'll leave that to the side here. Now we can just keep going on tearing this down. I don't really plan on changing any of these components, but just out of curiosity, we can take a look further. They are using silicone on a lot of these electrical connections, and I don't love that. It's kind of like a, a one-time use solution, because now if I go and do some maintenance, like I pulled this one off already, you're breaking that seal and the silicone's not doing anything anymore. So any type of repair that you're doing on any of these components or replacement, and you're gonna break that seal and it becomes pretty useless. But like you see me do there, I removed this cable here. It's connected to the fan and that's gonna let us pull the entire heat break out of here. So that's not actually secured with anything. It's just friction fit into the rest of the assembly. And I can pull that out from there. We have these two standoffs that were part of the hot end assembly and these were just finger tight. Those can come off too. And if we want to do a fan replacement, there we go. So here's our aluminum heat break and our fan keep that part cool. Now we could keep going and this is the extruder motor with its electrical connection over here to the PCB board and we can just pull that out as well as the filament sensor we can pull out of the side here. And then you have the fan that was attached to the shroud wrapping underneath and coming out the side here, which we can also pull away there. And we can't quite slide that out until we get this PCB off.
Now that we have that off. Now our fan is free. And we're left with basically just the extruder portion. So I'm gonna take this cable off. We're gonna go all the way down to nothing. Basically you have this guy here applying the compression on the, uh, the filament between those two extruder gears. Pull that off, pull that away and you can see this little extruder gear and we'll try and get a look inside there. You can see that it interfaces here. That's where the filament is driven and this is the gear where it gets driven. The filament goes between there and there. And this flap just keeps that closed and that spring with the bolt keeps that pressed together. That one felt really cross-threaded compared to this one that just came right out. There's the, the housing for the extruder off. I think that might be as far as I go with this, but you can see you can see where the motor drives this little gear, drives this larger gear. Which then has the the teeth that grab onto the filament. And these two sandwiched together to drive the filament down into the hot end. Well, I hope you liked that one. It's always fun to look at a different manufacturer's way of doing things. I know this is predominantly a Bamboo Lab channel, but FL Sun sent me this printer and I figured I'd take a look inside. I have been having issues with it and so hopefully replacing the heater cartridge out of the hot end will fix that but I do have an entire print head on order so hopefully something will be able to resolve my issues and will be back to running. But with that I'm going to put this back together and I will see you in the next one.